Dave, we uh, are a Toronto Maple Leaf show. Uh, obviously, you spent some time here, and uh, you know the uh, you know the market very well. It's uh, it hasn't been. I guess the, I don't want to say it hasn't been successful here, but they haven't got out of the first round over the past couple of years. What what are your thoughts on the evolution of this Leafs team over the past five six years with this core? Well, they, you know, they took a different direction, obviously, with, with how they kind of put the team together. Um, and I still think that the window is open for them. It's not like they're never going to get out of the first round. You know, but when you put all, all your money and not all, but a lot of it into four or five players, it, it, uh, it makes things difficult. With that said, those players have all pr- pretty much performed. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of naysayers early on this year that it just isn't going to work. And, um you know, that Western swing that they started on wasn't the best for them, uh, but they stuck together, and it seems like a very resilient group. Um, you know, can you win with with a structure like that? It still remains to be seen, but I, I think that they have a very good hockey club, and uh, I think that uh, if the goaltending can hold up, which has been very good, uh, it looks like Kyle's pushed the right buttons there for two guys that have starting numbers right now, um, and if that defense can you know, can hold up as well and get healthy. I think that there's a good chance that you do get out of the first round. Dave, uh, looking back at uh, the various teams that you've been involved with, uh, the the whole process between training camp, uh, American Thanksgiving, trade deadline, and and how much how much do you think that you know your team and what it needs and how can it alter at times during the regular season? Because the Leafs have had a great November and uh, perhaps the feeling of going into January and February might be a little different than, uh, than what you thought of earlier. And of course, this is leading to the temptation of bettering your team at the trade deadline and then factoring the assets you have to do it. But uh, how did that work for you over the years? Well, I started Kipper when you were playing, so things are a lot different now than they were back then. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> And you probably remember, you know, you started training camp and you kind of saw what you had. And then, you know, after 10 or 15 games, and I've said this to a few people, I remember Pat Quinn, my first year in Vancouver, you know, he said, let's give it 10 games and see how we are. And then we'll, if we have to make changes, we can. That's not possible anymore. Mm-hmm. I and mean, it's really hard to change your team. You can, you can shuffle the deck a little bit, but in terms of really improving and making trades, it's very difficult because of the cap system. Um, so for, you know, for Toronto, uh, do I see them trying to better their team? If they're playing at a 700 clip and they can make their team better by spending some assets, I think they'll do it. Um, but it's, it's very difficult to make changes between Thanksgiving and the deadline, unless you're a team that didn't expect to be good. And all of a sudden you had some cap space available, but you know, teams that were thinking that they're, that they were going to be contenders, Almost all of them. If you look at it, at the, the the payrolls, those teams, they're they're operating with fumes. You're you're either an LTI or you're you're at, you know, a million bucks or less. So, uh, making those trades are more difficult than they've ever been. Um, but I I think that the teams that are at the top uh, will continue to do it. I think Boston they've done it the last couple of years. I think they will do it. You know, I I think that the teams that have a chance um, to really think they have a chance, and their their window is either starting to close or it's you know on its way i think those teams will try to get better at the deadline if they can